Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make homemade yogurt in your Instant Pot. My boys eat yogurt almost every single day and ever since the first time I bought this yogurt in particular, they immediately fell in love and this is their favorite one. I have two boys and if they only had one of these per day, we would need to buy 14 of these per week so it can get pretty pricey. It's actually really simple to make it yourself and all you need is some milk and yogurt. And if you make yogurt yourself all the time, you don't even need to buy yogurt anymore. You can just save some every time you make it and use it to start the next batch. Sweeten condensed milk is only if you want to sweeten the yogurt. Sometimes I'll sweeten it and other times I leave it plain. That way I can use it in savory cooking. We can use it instead of sour cream. And also it's great to sweeten it with honey, jam, some kind of fresh fruit so you can be very versatile. And that way you can control how much sugar you add to the yogurt. Since my boys really like this yogurt, I use this one because it has the same cultures and it's going to have the same texture and flavor as the one we buy at the store. I also use this particular whole milk when I make yogurt. If you want to use regular whole milk, I have the recipe on my website so you can look it up there. Pour one gallon of milk into the Instant Pot and add the yogurt. Then add the sweetened condensed milk if you're going to be using it and you can use the whole can or use part of it depending on how sweet you want the yogurt to be. Whisk it all together until it's completely smooth. Make sure to put the rubber sealing ring in the Instant Pot lid, close it and set the valve to sealing. Turn on the yogurt function and I like to reduce it to 6 hours instead of 8 because it's going to be more mild. If you want it to be tangier, you can set it for 8 hours or even 10. And that's it. Leave it alone. Let the Instant Pot do the rest of the work for you. One of my boys loves just the plain vanilla yogurt, but my other son likes to add fruit to his. Of course, you can just add some fresh fruit to the yogurt, but if you want it to have that consistency and taste similar to the yogurt at the store, you can cook some fruit, any kind that you like. You can even use frozen fruit. Put it in a saucepan, pour in a little bit of water, and add some sugar depending on how sweet or tart the fruit is that you're using. Sometimes you won't need to use any sugar at all, but if the fruit that you're using is a little bit tart, you might want to add a little sugar. Bring it all to a boil, cover it, and let it cook until it gets soft. When the fruit is soft, you can mash it up with a potato masher or just use an immersion blender if you want it to have more of a saucy consistency and that's it. Or you can even chop it before you start cooking it and then you won't have to do anything with it at all. Cool it and store it in an airtight container in your refrigerator and this is going to be so easy for you to add to yogurt any time of the week. Okay, let's open it up and check it out. Wow, look at that. It's so thick and creamy and it's amazing. Look at that. That is perfect. If you use a different type of yogurt, it might be a little bit thinner than this. So you may want to strain it, but this one usually doesn't need to be strained at all. Every time I make it, I'm so impressed with how much yogurt I get out of this and I absolutely love the texture. some with strawberries and you can have the one with mango there's mango on the bottom too you to give it a try tell me what you think is that good do you guys love your yogurt mm, is that good <laughs> well if they're happy I'm even happier <laughs> yummy do you guys want to go sit down so you're more comfortable yeah? Okay, let's go get you a more comfortable seat. Transfer the yogurt into a container and just store it in your refrigerator. 
We have some of the jars saved from the store-bought yogurt and my boys love it when I serve it to them here. <laughs> they think it's so cool. There you go. Made by mama, but in the jar. This is a lot of yogurt, as you can see. It makes about 10 cups. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Now you can make your own fancy yogurt at home.